still hate doing intros, but you know what? We, I gotta do it anyway. So, you know, welcome back to my channel, guys. It's Felicia here. Today we have Ruby Volume 8, Chapter 10. Um, this one is called Ultimatum, I think. And I gotta skip this, as always. Apologize. So, okay, before, quick recap what happened last episode. Um, they went into the whale for like, and it didn't really contribute to much. Um, which was my gripe with it, but they ended up getting Oscar. No, Oscar stayed behind and like blew up Salem along with Hazel, and they were there. Like obviously by they, I mean John, Ren, um, Yang. They were there. And Emerald turned, so they're like in the vicinity, so they could be hurt. I don't really know. We don't know what happened to Oscar. We don't know what happened to Salem. We don't know what happened to Hazel. So yeah, that's where we're at. Oh yeah, he was in that thumbnail, so I'm assuming a lot is going to happen with Ironwood. Am I still titles on? Yes. Sir, we have confirmation that Dr. Watts has escaped military headquarters to the assistance of Cinderfall. <laughs> You're really scared. I don't give a damn about Jacques Schnee. What about the other two? Sir, Ronwin and Hill have evaded capture yes they did let's go we are monitoring every exit so they must still be inside the compound we're moving you to another <laughs> damn it they got out finally search everywhere for them well they know Do where to go return to this office until you have crow bronwyn in custody of course sir Ooh, he's pissed. What's the status of our Wait, they didn't. So that was what? That wasn't a bomb? Holy. That's what Oscar did. Okay, I'm slow. It was that big of an explosion? So is Oscar okay? Hello? A lot of people theorize that they got teleported somewhere. Which... Where would they go? And then... They, that would be weird, because then where would Oscar go? They would have to find him, right? So... And Neo, not giving a damn about anything, ever. Just skipping off with the lamp. Is everyone alright? No injuries here. They were still inside. Nah, they're fine. I think, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, obviously they're not dead, but, you know, hopefully they're okay physically. Target destroyed. Good work. But no time to celebrate. Return to the Academy at once. We've got a new problem. But that wasn't us. Then we can tell him in person. Load it back up. We're leaving. So what was the point of the bomb? Was it just an empty threat? Like, that's kind of lame. Did... Did anyone respond? No. Well, she'll come back. In the interim, we need a plan. Plan? I wonder how long it takes Salem to reform from that. Changed. I'm going to rip <coughs> the maiden power out of Penny Folendina. Because you're going to bring her to me. I beg your pardon? You said in your message that you have control over Penny. I said I had Penny under control. Not that I could telekinetically force her to do whatever I want. What? I implanted a virus in her, you dimwit. She's on a set path now. At least she should be. As much as I hate to admit it, there seems to be some part of her capable of resisting. Because she's a person. It's only a matter of time. She's not just hardware. The chemical body succumbs to the virus. She'll open the vault, then she'll destroy herself, and our little penny problem will be done. What do you mean she'll destroy herself? 
How am I supposed to take her power if she's dead? You know, it's impressive that you haven't realized this yet, but I don't- That is a good point. Like, did Salem tell him to order Penny to terminate herself? Because I'm assuming Salem would want Penny to still be alive so that Salem- So that Cinder could uh, get her power. Don't work for you. Please, you can't just threaten me like everyone else. You think you're so clever, don't you, Arthur? Salem sent you to bring me back. Salem isn't here right now. But I think we can still come up with a plan while she's pulling herself together. First, I'm gonna watch you plummet to an unremarkable end. Yeah, then kill I'm him. gonna burn a path directly to the vault, where I will wait to tear that magical puppet to pieces. Girl, you already lost a penny once before. Like, and take. And you had hope. Emerald was there with you. You still lost. <laughs> oh, of course you are, because that's just what you do, isn't it? And how has that worked out for you? You stormed into Freya's room thinking you could take on Ironwood's top fighter and war machine. But you couldn't. Yeah. And that machine became the Winter Maiden. Oh, and let's not forget your deal with Raven Brownwind. Get yeah. all your enemies in oh, one boy. place so you'd have a shot at revenge. If only someone could have warned you against such a miserable idea. Calling her out. Oh, wait. I did. But you pushed ahead and you lost it when all you had to do was your job. I think you're entitled to everything just because you've suffered, but suffering isn't enough. You can't just be strong, you have to be smart. You can't just be deserving, you have to be worthy. But all you have ever been is a bloody He's mind game. Facts. I thought she'd kill him though. Oh, kind of feel, do I feel bad for her? I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I don't like to see a lady cry. I don't like you, Cinder, but... Uh, mm. Oh, they're okay! Blake? Yang, are you okay? Where are you? Yeah, we're fine. Is everyone there alright? We're alive. Oscar's okay too! Dump her. There's too many characters. Dump her. Dump what? Dump Emerald. Hazel's gone. Let's go. I'm, I'm sorry. That's I'm. Look. Area. Just head to this access point to reach the red line subway tunnel. Then follow the route I've drawn for you. I know there's people who really like these characters, and I'm not trying to like just shit on your favorite characters or whatever. But Ruby has like what, ten main protagonists, and then you have the villains as well, and then you have like Ironwood and their crew. It's just a lot going on. If we could get rid of some characters through all this inner, uh, interpersonal fighting and whatever, I'm okay with that. Got it. People switching sides, people switching allegiances. You can't. I'm okay serious. with that. You want us to work with her? I'm just saying it makes the most sense. We're all enemies of Salem, including her. No, I'm with Blondie. You don't like me, I don't like you. So how about we just part ways and you never have to see me? I agree with this. You're not going yes. anywhere. Not after everything you've done. We can't let all of our actions stem from here. That's also a good point. If she could help us, I think we should consider it. She is part of the reason I have this. I'm not going to just forgive her. Everything that happened at Beacon, she lied to us, tricked us. She is dangerous. You don't have to forgive her. You have every reason to feel that way. Just maybe give her a second chance. We've already gotten quite a bit of help today from someone we don't exactly trust right now. Do you mean Osbin? I wouldn't say give her a second chance. I'd say just like put that aside for now. You can hash it out later type of thing. I wouldn't say give her a second chance. Like, like no, no. I had a feeling. Wait, Oz what? Is back? I know how you feel, but he saved my life. When we were tortured, he took it. So I wouldn't have to. 
He entrusted me with this, and the massive amount of power he had stored up in it. Kinetic energy that he spent lifetime after lifetime accumulating in the cane he built. So that's how you did that? Using all of the stored up power? Not all, but most. Damn. We have to be careful with how we use the rest. He trusted my judgment, and it saved us. I want to reciprocate that trust. There's a lot to sort out, but Oz really wants to help. Thank you, Oscar. Look, I mean, I don't hate Osmond anymore. I think they should, at this point, look past that, because at the end of the day, you still need his guidance on this stuff, no matter how you feel about him. That they should look past and just get over it. The whole thing with Emerald and them, that's a different situation entirely. Oh yeah, they all went to the subway, didn't they? All the people. All of Atlas is down here. Mm, damn. I like stuff like this because you don't really get to see the human impacts, and now you do. I've seen what you can do, Emerald. However, this fight ends, we could really use someone like you. But just don't take her to vacuo, please. <clears throat> huh? It's about time. While we dealt a decisive blow to Salem today. Actually, that wasn't our payload, sir. I brought it back with us. Then who could have? But you still have it. This may be useful. Penny still hasn't come to the vault, meaning Watts was either incompetent or he betrayed us. At this point, we'll never know. Cinder Falls attack command and escape with him. And that's not all we've lost. Sir? Crow and Robin have also escaped. Uh, all right, Harriet. Crow didn't even kill your man. Get destroyed. over it. But that doesn't mean we've stopped her. She will return, and she will throw everything she has at us until there is nothing left. And we are perilously close to that already. I need the Winter Maiden now. It's the only way Atlas can survive. <sighs> Shni, bring me Ark, Ren, and Shaolong. Ooh. What for, Ooh. sir? <laughs> uh, she don't got them no more. I throw in my hands. And I didn't do what needed to be done. I will not make that mistake again. I know. I'm ashamed I didn't think of it earlier. Leveraging the lives of her friends? It's the only way to make Penny listen to reason. Wait. Sir. I'm... Was he... He really gonna threaten to kill them? If Penny doesn't come? Thank God they're not there. Sorry, but we don't have them. Operative Schnee, let them go. Here, you goddamn snitch. You what? Winter allowed them to go on board the creature to rescue their friend. And they never came back. Look, silver lining. They don't they won't mess with you anymore, you know? That team is diminished now. Obviously they're alive, he don't know that. <laughs> They were our last <laughs> but, yeah. chance. Now, now I have nothing. Sir, we are detecting non-military ships on radar. Dozens of them. Ships? Who ships? This episode is long. They appear to be Schnee Dust Company freighters, sir. Oh, we're only like 14 minutes in. Okay. Yay, the STC. Weiss. I see. They're trying to save Mantle. <laughs> this has always been about Mantle, hasn't it? <laughs> I need to make a call. Well, it hasn't always been about Mansell. It's just you left them to die. You know, you got your people up there, and it's just... Your boss won't stay dead, but you will without this. Who 
she could take that picture for her. Who is it? Did someone survive? If you want her name, you know what you owe me. Is it a picture of Ruby? No, we didn't see it. Okay. Ah, reunions. Let's go. Oh. Oh. I missed you too. That's so freaking sweet. Thought it'd be a little longer, but okay. There's a uh, blink. Why she looks sad, sis? Why you look sad for her? <gasps> are they gonna? Are they gonna? Are they gonna? Oh, they didn't. Okay. Nora? Okay. Oh right. <laughs> he doesn't know about Nora. <laughs> no. Oscar, like, where my hug at? <laughs> okay. I can. That was so fast. I, I feel like that went by too quickly for me. They're not alone. May? What are you talking about? Were those? This is an emergency CCT broadcast. Oh no! What's going on? Those ships, they were going to save people. Why would... I have always promised to defend this kingdom. There's no one on those ships, right? No, they didn't make it there yet. They didn't make it it's there yet. Okay. Technology, its future, from those who would see it destroyed. Our enemy is crippled, but one individual still denies Atlas its salvation. The protector of Mantle. Penny, wherever you and your friends are, I need you all to listen. I know how much Mantle means to you. So I'm going to give you a choice. You can bring yourself to Atlas Academy and do your duty. Mm -hmm. Help me save as much of Atlas as I can, and Mantle will be left to fend for itself. Or you can all watch as I destroy it. Like what? I have one bomb. That's all it will take. If there is no Mantle, then there is no reason for you not to work with me. Neither of us wanted to come to that, but one of us is willing to do it. If anyone tries anything other than what I've ordered, Mantle is gone. You have one hour to respond. One hour? I hope you live up to the title I gave you. Holy shit! Oh no! Are you kidding me? At this point, I just want them to go up there and like fight him one on one, but then he could drop the bomb and destroy everyone in Mantle. Hmm. I want to see what the end credits are. That was a really good episode. There are so many just moments, just really good moments. Like, oh wow. I also kind of just want to go back to the reunion right quick because that was just really sweet and I feel like it wasn't long enough and I just really want to get my fill of it, okay? Oh. I missed you too. You're so sweet. She's like, oh, come here, Vice. Why she looks upset though? Why is she upset? Where's Nora? I really thought they were gonna kiss. And how come we didn't get to see Ren and Nora reunite? I want to see them get back together too, and him apologize for being a dickhead, and then they can wake up and you know get back to how things were. Um. But yeah, anyway, really, 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 really good episode. Like, holy crap, there's so many good moments in this thing. Like, Ironwood just losing everything and 
now I see why it's called ultimatum because he he lost so much. He's like, I don't have any other chess pieces. I have one plan left, and he's using it. Like, uh, yeah, Crow and Robin escaping. That's good because I feel like they've just been out of the fight this whole time, uh, along with Nora as well. It feels like these characters, like they, what you want to keep up with them, but they're not really important this volume it seems uh so hopefully they come in and play a part in the end because it, I, I was kind of annoyed that they're just sitting in prison this whole time um the bomb that i thought was pointless i was actually a little upset i was like oh so what's the point of the kruby threatening this bomb if it wasn't even going to be it wasn't even going to be important but it is so it changed my expectations for that uh good stuff here This was a really good scene as well. Just Watts calling Cinder out is like you, just because you suffer doesn't mean you you were entitled to all this power and your plans suck. Essentially, he's like you're bad. You're just bad at what you're trying to do. Just called her straight out, and then she cried, which I felt really bad for her for like a split second before I realized, or before I remembered all the bad things she's, she's done. So it's like you're still a villain at the end of the day so whatever um yeah there's a bunch of good stuff man these are the episodes where like things start like coming together and the it's like almost at the climax and stuff so i'm really excited for episode 11. i do want emerald to go away though like if they bring her to vacuo and like have her freaking like meet up with mercury and stuff like i don't i don't want that to happen we have too many main characters Uh, this whole thing with Winter and Ironwood and Harriet being a little snitch. Like, I think Winter is, she, what if she got in big trouble? And I think she might die. If Ironwood doesn't die, Winter's going to die. Like, one of these two characters are going to die this volume, I think. Or next volume. Like, they're not, they're not making it out of the Atlas arc. So, yeah, that was it. That's all I got. A great episode. Honestly, really, just really, really good. Um, so like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.